Oh man, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that my roof is fixed now. As you can see, the roof is all good. There's a window now again, but I cannot believe I'm so happy with it. What's up guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today we'll be talking about how much it costed to fix my BMW Z3 after the break-in. BMW wanted like $19,000 for all the damages from there, but we paid a lot less, so let's get started. I can't make this stuff up. Uh, so I was originally gonna film with this thing, essentially mounted to the windshield and then film that way. But the problem is, is that as I was unscrewing this, it fell out and fell between the seats and I can't get it. And so now I have to film with just my hand for today's video, unfortunately. Oh um, my God, I, hopefully I can find this or hopefully I have a spare at the house. I don't remember if I do, but let's hope. I cannot tell you guys just how, I guess, unlucky I got today. So firstly, the thing with the camera happens, or well, with the camera mount happens, and now it's raining. The forecast didn't say rain until like 2 p.m. And I mean, I'm fine driving in the rain. It's the thing of just like, seriously, how did I get lied to on that? I was originally gonna just do this with the roof off, you know? I don't know why, because I paid a certain amount for the roof, which you guys will hear later in the video, but yeah. I will say though, for rain coverage, the car is actually doing fairly well. No drops, no drops, nothing like that. It's a major improvement over what the last roof was doing, where it would literally just like leak from here. I got nothing so far, so I mean, that's a good sign. Okay, so I pulled over real quick because when I was turning, I heard a sound come from under the seat, so I was trying to figure out what it was. I found these two things, which I don't know what it is. Look, I just dropped one of them again. Oh my God. But essentially, this is the other piece of it. I don't know how you explain it, but this was under the seat. It looks to have been crushed by the seat motor or something like that. But more importantly, this, I found it. Yes, so we can just go back to mounting it to my windshield and a normally scheduled video once again. Let's go. <laughs> We're back in business, let's go. This acceleration, this is for finding my stuff. Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, man, I love that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay, yeah, the suspension is a bit bumpy, but we'll run with it. <laughs> oh, my God, I love this car. I love this car. It's so broken, but I love this car. <laughs> I will say there's a little bit of a hole between the roof and the roof frame. I do need to like, I guess, JB Weld or like cock that shut. Uh, I don't have a caulking gun on me. I don't have one here. I'll probably do it when I'm... I do have to say, today's been quite a weird day already. And it's only 10.30 in the morning. So for some context, yesterday I went out, or well, I didn't go out, but like I went to a friend's house, made dinner with them, and it was all fun and all that. I got home sometime around like 9.30 and got to working on last week's video. Or well, maybe the week before. I don't know when I'm putting up this video, but it's essentially the video working with Thomas on the Z3 and fixing that up. I was working on that video uh, and then I just passed out sometime around 10.30ish. Like literally just knocked out with the lights on, with the laptop right in front of me, all of that. I then woke up at like 2.40 in the morning. The lights are on, laptop's still in front of me. To its credits, it was still on, so shout out Dell for a great, I didn't actually expect that good of a battery life. But regardless, packed up the laptop, shut down everything, turned off the lights, all that jazz, and then went back to bed. And then I had a dream about EDP 445 playing pickup basketball with me. I don't play basketball. And I never watched EDP 445 when he was a thing. So I don't know where that came from, but yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> and now when I come out to the car, I lose the little thing for this th thing right here. I don't know what you call it. The little knob thing you guys saw. And it's raining. So I don't know. Today's been weird. Let's just leave it at that. I will say a big issue, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like right behind you guys, is that the roof is kind of fogging up a little bit. It's like condensing a lot. And I don't know why that's happening or how that's happening. Can definitely be a bit of a bit of... Can definitely be a bit of... 
can definitely be a bit of a problem with, uh, I guess, longer term drives and stuff like that, but I'm not too sure. Along with that, I have yet to cut the tension cable so that they don't hit my head. Same with the two zip ties, which I've just tucked into this thing here. So I need to definitely do a bit of cleaning up. Like Thomas said, it's a little bit of a hack job, but at the same time, it works. Like there's no rain coming on me at all versus like with the old one, it was monsooning back there. There was a bunch of issues with that. It was leaking here, all that jazz. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but it was a green off-roader and it looked cool. All right, enough dilly-dallying. Let's actually talk about the price of this Z3 and how much it was to fix the thing. So essentially, well, for a quick disclaimer, we didn't do everything that was on the repair sheet. We just did a few things such as the roof and the glove box. So I'm gonna try and base it off of that and compare it to what BMW was saying for that specifically. So let's go with that. So BMW wanted 8,900 for the full roof job, just for the roof alone. And then the glove box was $1,200. And then they didn't include the labor in the bill, but I'm gonna estimate it was about an hour of labor that it would have taken them. I think their rate was probably about 135 an hour. That's me being conservative, I think. So when you total that together, that comes out to about $10,200, give or take. I'm not too sure on the exact figure. I did not pay $10,200. I did not even pay $1,000. I paid a lot less than that. So let's go into the specifics of it. And just like that, the rain has actually stopped, so now I can get outside and film. I'm behind some random, I think, gas station this is. I'm not too sure. And I've parked like a complete douchebag, but we'll run with it. All right, so I have the figures, the numbers on my phone right here. Let's start with the glove box. So the glove box in total, we bought it a used glove box off of eBay. That came out to $158.57. From there, we also had to go get the top. The top was also from eBay. It's an aftermarket top just from some, you know, random eBay shop. It works really well, like I've mentioned before. It does have that issue of just like condensation building up and all of that. I don't know what you call it. I think it's condensation. That roof came out to $184, but we got free shipping on it. So in total, including taxes and all that, for the parts, it was $355.91. That being said, we can't really do much with a top and a glove box if we can't install that. So we also have to factor in labor. I paid Thomas about $15 an hour for every hour that he worked on the Z3 with me. So that came out to about eight hours. So when you do 15 times eight, that's about $120 right there. Realistically, we actually gave him more like $150 as a thank you on top of everything because he really helped me out on that one. Shout out to Thomas, by the way. He literally just stuck his neck out for me. It was so last minute and so just quickly put together. He had worked the day prior and the work and worked the day after and this was his day off and he spent it fixing my car. So I have to give him a massive thank you to that. So going back to the handy dandy calculator, 355.91 for parts, plus $120 for labor, plus another $30 as a thank you, comes out to $505.91. Yeah, $505 to fix what BMW wanted right around $10,000 for. That's insane to think about. And like, I am so, it's crazy, $9,500 off of what BMW wanted, and I have the same product, same all of that. Roof is functional, glove box is functional, bless. Now that being said, there are obviously some downsides to this, like such as these tension cables are still hanging around, so I have to cut those up, fix them up, all of that jazz, as well as there's a few parts I still need to install. This screw is not in, so I have to reinstall that screw. That's on me to do, because admittedly, Thomas and I did get kind of tired towards the end. Regardless of that, we also did have a little bit of wear to the car. So like there's these little bits right here, all of that. There's a little scuff in the paint now here because I mean, hello, it's a heavy roof with a lot of heavy components. So yeah, what do you expect? So we use caulk for actually installing the roof as well as these gaskets here. And let me tell you, it definitely did get a bit messy. We had some covers, but obviously they didn't fully work. It got a little bit on the roof, but I can live with that. That's fine. Regardless of all the stuff I just pointed out, it doesn't warrant a $9,500 difference. It's cheaper in parts as well as the labor to do all of this stuff on your own. As you can tell by $184 roof versus the one BMW. I think they wanted like three grand. I understand that people will say, oh, it's lower quality, it's from eBay, all that stuff. And that's a fair point, that's a fair point. But regardless of that, it doesn't warrant three grand worth of difference, you know? 
And the glove box is even more of an example of that. This is a 100 and I think $120 glove box. I forgot the number already, but something like that. And literally this, they wanted 10 times the value. This is a used glove box, yes, but it still does the job, like, you know? I understand things like dealers need to make money and all of that stuff, but to charge $10,000 on something that was $500, that's just highway robbery in my opinion like that's just insanity to see that i'm legitimately just like in disbelief i'm so happy i didn't have to pay that and i know there's a bunch of other things that do need to be fixed but they're not going to total the other i think like nine thousand dollars the bill came out to cars like this z3 and other e36 bmws they're fairly easy to work on working on the glove box that's been fairly easy this door handle this was not the hardest job in imaginable like this is a 700 dollars door handle i believe online and it is insane to see people charge that much for a replacement when you could theoretically plastic weld it so this z3 door handle i don't know why i keep opening this door sorry guys this z3 door handle is actually plastic welded back together it came off as you saw in previous videos but even things like that bmw is going to charge you an arm and a leg to fix versus this was like probably i don't even know maybe five dollars ten dollars to fix up and it's a working door handle again. That's why I want to learn more on how to work on cars. And I, bit by bit, I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong, I'm still very, very, what was the, uh, the word Thomas used? Mechanically reclined. Obviously there's mechanically inclined, so I guess this is the opposite of that. But piece by piece, and I hope that you guys can stick around and join that journey. Now obviously there's a few things that still need to be fixed in terms of this roof stuff but this is one of them, so we're gonna work on this right now, real quick. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Uh, let's see, I think that works. I'm not too sure on that. What are you? I mean, I think that works, let's see. It works, yeah, let's go. And on that note, today's video is in fact over. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below, especially on the fact that we fixed this car for a 20th of what BMW wanted, which is just crazy to think about. And if you like what you're seeing, leave subscribe. And just like that, I'm out. Holy crap, I saved a lot of money. Peace.